welcome back to another review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and today we are traveling through the tale of Reminiscence, a neo-noir detective thriller set in neo-apocalyptic Miami. Overall, the film has an interesting world, but not enough is given to us to really flesh it out, and it feels as if the story would have benefited from being a miniseries rather than condensed down into one film. Before we dive in through, please give the video a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We are so close to the 100 subs mark and we are excited to provide you with more content. Make sure to plug that bell icon as well to stay up to date with our latest releases. Alright, let's go. The film starts off introducing us to the current state of Miami, flooded and sinking into the ocean. We're greeted by a narrator. Nick Bannister, played competently by Hugh Jackman, as he explains that there was a border war back in the day which caused a lot of people to leave their homes and rich investors to start buying up the land. Then when the land began to sink, it drove up the values of the other properties which were still above water and many people were displaced. Nick works as a memory consultant. Using a sophisticated machine, he is able to access your memories and walk you through them either to relive past moments with lost loved ones, or find misplaced items. During said war, he was drafted into working as a border guard and thus has connections to the current DA's office, occasionally helping them diving into a criminal's mind to show proof of criminal activity. One day, a woman by the name of May enters and asks him to help her find missing keys. She's a lounge singer, and this quickly encapsulates Nick's attention, who forges a relationship with her. Flash forward eight months, and she has disappeared on him, causing Nick to become addicted to diving into his own memories to relive moments with her, as well as search for clues to her disappearance. Meanwhile, the DA is trying to prosecute a local rich mogul who has some shady business practices about acquiring property, namely burning down a building with tenants still inside. Nick is brought in to question a henchman who is on the verge of death. During the process, he sees the henchman having contact with May and finds out that she used to be an addict, a drug called Baca. She apparently stole a bunch of drugs from a local kingpin going by the name of St. Joe, and at first he fears that her life is in danger or worse. Nick goes to meet with St. Joe under the guise of promising new drug dealer, and his ruse is quickly discovered. Before he can be executed though, the DA shows up and kills St. Joe along with his entourage. Watts, Nick's partner at his business, reveals that she may have some memories of May that could help him and Nick finds out that she stole a bunch of backup memories of them. The memories she stole are of a woman named Elsa Kareen, a client who frequents them to relive moments of her life with someone she's lost. He rewatches one of Elsa's memories and recognizes the voice of her lover, the rich mogul who's currently on trial. Walter Sylvan. Sylvan, however, has recently died, leaving everything to his wife Tamara and their son. Upon seeing Tamara, Nick decides to try to reach out to her, but she has dementia and only in a slight moment of clarity reveals that Sylvan had many lovers and possibly other offspring. He tries to track down Elsa only to find out that she is dead and her son Freddy is missing. Nick is then attacked by Cyrus Booth, a corrupt cop and former security guard for Sylvan, and left for dead. Putting two and two together, Nick comes up to the conclusion that Freddy must be Sylvan's illegitimate child and thus entitled to some of the family fortune. Nick tracks Booth to an abandoned part of Miami, hoping to find him and May and get to the bottom of everything. A fight breaks out, but eventually Nick subdues him and puts him in the memory machine. Going through Booth's memories, he discovers that from the moment he met May, it was all a setup by Booth having blackmailed her into working for him, all so they could find and kill Elsa and Freddy. As he continues to dive deeper into Booth's memories, he discovers that May could not go through with killing Freddy, and stashed him away at a place only Nick knew about. She knew that eventually he'd catch up with Booth, and so she speaks directly to him while facing Booth, before killing herself. 
Nick traps Booth in a memory of being burned before going to his old partner Watts and revealing the whole case. The DA finds Freddy, and because it is illegal to trap people in memories maliciously, Nick is also convicted. He serves a sentence by reliving all the memories that he had with me, while Watts keeps an eye over him. The film has some interesting themes and does its best to feel like an old noir detective story, often with narration over the case notes by Nick himself. In typical fashion, the clues are trickled into random moments, which trigger Nick to look at different memories each time and put them together like a puzzle. While not every piece fits, for example, Sylvan would have known where Elsa was since he visited her frequently. I don't understand why they needed such an elaborate plan to find her. It was an overall enjoyable experience. I give the film a solid 7 out of 10. In some areas, it could have used better pacing, and I was much more curious about the surrounding world, and we only ever got little glimpses of it. The actors involved all did a good job, and there were many beautiful shots of a ravaged cityscape. Definitely worth checking out. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos, and if you're looking to help us make even better content, please visit our Patreon, link in the description below. You can also reach out to us on Twitter, at StudiosFat, or chat with us on Discord, which is also linked below. I've been your host, Jackie K. And before I go, memories are an important part of being a human being. Sometimes life can be rough and we end up with our fair share of bad memories, which is why it's so important to get out there and make good ones. Cherish the moments where you're laughing and feel like you could live in that moment forever. Because as long as we have those memories, that moment is never truly gone. Thanks again, and take care.